Hello, my name is Tim Richards. I'm going to show you some really basic blues piano stuff as featured in my book, Improvising Blues Piano, published by Shot Music. This second clip deals with the walking bass line again, this time extended to two bar patterns. Let's go. In this lesson we're going to be playing walking bass lines using two bar patterns based on root 3, 5, 6 and then crossing over for the second bar with the index finger onto either the root or the seventh. Notice when you have the 5 and the 4 chords in the last 4 bars, you've only got time to do a 1 bar pattern because you've got a bar each on D and C. So you just revert back to root 3, 5, 6 there. In the right hand, I'm going to add 6th chords, not root position but 1st inversion with my thumb on B, the 3rd of each chord. B for G, thumb on E for C, and thumb on F sharp for D. Here we go. I'm going to be playing in a shuffle rhythm. All the chords in the right hand will be between the left hand notes on all the ands. sing, that would be an ideal way of accompanying yourself. If you want to play something more melodic, you could do something like Riff Blues, page 59 in the book, and the right hand is using the same shapes but playing slightly more melodically. repeat that and loosen up the right hand a little bit, not play exactly the timing that's written, make it more like an improvisation. important not to get completely stuck playing exactly as written because blues is an improvised music and the, the, you can keep it fresh by still using the same hand positions but varying the order of the notes or varying the rhythm or leaving it out to starting in a different place. Try and keep things fresh and spontaneous.